All right, here we go. Rate time distance problems. Objective is, well, to solve these babies. Let's do it. Um, you travel at 100 miles per hour for five hours. How far did you go? Now, this isn't too tough of a problem, right? 100 miles per hour, five hours, you do 100 times five. Well, 100 times five is 500. Why, though? You might be wondering, why, you know, why, why can we do rate times time? Well, look what happens algebraically. Miles, hour. What happens to these hours? Hour and hour cancel each other out, the m stick around, miles. The rate is usually a miles or a distance per time. Rate comes out as a distance per time. When you multiply by some time, what do you end up with? Times cancel out, you get distance. All right, does that make sense? All right, so let's do some of these problems. 9.30 a.m., Andrew left Exeter for Portsmouth traveling at 12 miles an hour. All right, so we've got a town exeter, Portsmouth, okay. Stacy at the 10 a.m., Stacy left Portsmouth for Exeter, cycling at 16 miles per hour. The distance from Exeter to Portsmouth is 20 miles. All right, so we have these towns. We have Exeter, and we have Portsmouth. We have one going this way, one going this way. We know the total distance is 20. They're given information. Now, I advise you to set up a chart on these things and see if you can fill some stuff in. And then we kind of talk about it after. So let's see. We have two people. We have um, Andrew and we have Stacy. And the charts are all going to pretty much the same. All of them are going to have the same thing. We're going to have rate times time equals distance. Right? Let's see. Do we, can we fill this in right now? Andrew left the exit for seven. Right here, 12. That's the rate. Remember, the rate is in hours, so our time better also be in hours. At 10, Stacy left at 16. All right, good. The distance is 20 miles per hour. I mean, 20 miles. So we're going to find the time when they meet. We're trying to find the time when they meet. All right? But I do know one thing. Andrew's going to travel for an amount of time, and um, Stacy's going to travel a little less. How do I know? Because Stacy leaves later. He left at 9.30. Stacy left at 10. So she left a half hour later, which means she traveled a half hour, hour less. So we can say that Andrew traveled at X, and she traveled a half hour less. You're not going to write X minus 30, because that's minutes. So we're going to put down X minus 1 half. All right? Now, I can use my rate times time equals distance here to get my distances. 12X, 16 times X minus 1 half, distribute, 16X minus 8. Now, what do I know? I know that this distance is 20, so I know the distance that Andy traveled and the distance that Stacy traveled added together should equal 20. I know that this whole thing should be 20. Here's my equation. 12x plus 16x minus 8 equals 20. 28x minus 8 equals 20. 28x equals 28. x therefore equals 1. We want to find the time when they meet. x is 1. 1 what? X is one hour. This is time in hours. What time do they meet? Well, if he went, he was for one hour, one hour after when he left, Andy. Andy left at 9.30, one hour later is at 10.30. So it's important you also check and make sure you're answering the right question. Here's the next one. Two jets leave Denver at 9. One flying east, one flying west. So here we go. We have east. Sorry, I'll do west on this, sorry. West, east. Okay, here we go. The one went and traveling east went 50 miles, 50 kilometers greater than the other, which is flying west. At 11, the planes are 2,500 kilometers apart. So I know this is 2,500. Um, find their speeds. Well, let's set up a little table here and see if we can do something. East, west. I'm going to do the rate, distance, time again. We know rates. Do we? Do we know times? What do we know here? Well, let's see. Um, we know rate. This guy's 50 kilometers an hour greater than the other, the one going east. So east is 50 more, more than the other, so we'll just call the other x. The times are both the same. They both left at the same time, right? From 9 a.m., let's see, um, to 11 a.m. That's the time, so the both times are two. Now, I can do rate times time to get this distance. And I know that the distance that they both tra traveled should add up to 2,500. So let's do it. 2x plus 100 
2x. So there's my equation. I know the distance that this guy traveled east and this guy traveled west should equal 2,500. So let's do it. 2x plus 100 plus 2x equals 2,500. 4x equals 2,400. x equals 600. Now I want to know find each of the speeds. Well, east was 650 because it's x is 600. 600 plus 50. 650 kilometers an hour, and west was 600 kilometers an hour. So that is, again, just filling in the table and uh, paying attention to that. Here we go. A bus, traveling at 380, a bus traveled 387 kilometers in five hours. One hour of the trip was in city traffic. The bus's city speed was just half its speed in the open highway. The rest of the trip was in open highway. Find the bus's speed. So we know that this bus went, you know, sometime in the city, and then some amount on the highway. Okay, so let's we know those are the two major categories. So let's you know do highway speed, right? And let's do city speed, city, and let's set up a you know those are the two um, different things going on here. The same thing, rate, time, distance. So um, what do we know? Well, one hour of the trip was in the city, so I know the time in the city was one hour. We know the city speed was half of its speed on the open highway. Well, if the city speed was half the highway, wasn't the highway twice the city? Yeah, so I could call this 2x and x, or I could call this x and one half x. Either way, you're still going to get it right. I like to try to avoid fractions. Um, we know this was one hour. We know the rest of the trip was on the, the rest of the trip was on the open highway. If the whole thing was five hours, one was here, four must be here. So here we go. Highway 2x rate times time equals distance. 2x times four is 8x. X times one is x. I know the total distance is 387, so 8x plus x must be 387. So there's my formula. Sorry, I didn't put it here. 8x plus x equals 387. 9x is 387. Now you just to solve for x, I mean, just divide.